Hey, we're going to have a look at the seventh chord today. Now, this one starts to get a bit trickier in your chords in some ways uh, with the theory behind it, but actually quite often is easier to play. So uh, you've probably stumbled across these mucking around. Um, so look, we'll, we'll jump in and we'll have a look just first off at the C major seven. Okay, so we know the notes in our C scale. Okay, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Easy. The seventh note there is the B. Um, really easy to work out. Just go back one in the alphabet. So C, it's going to be a B. All right. So where do we find that in a chord? So we take our C major chord. All right. Um, my, my old favorite. And then, all right, where is a B? Now, the great thing is there's a string called B. So you can take that first finger off, all right? And you get this beautiful sound. So that is a major seventh sound. Now, because you don't need to have that first finger down, all of a sudden that chord becomes ridiculously easy. Okay, now we know an E minor will go in with a uh, C major, so you can now have a nice, really, really simple, beautiful chord progression. Right, so that's our major seventh. So really all you're going to do is go, all right, what key center, where can I find it? And you can go through chord books, chord charts, have a look at the um, chord library. But really, it's kind of fun working them out. So let's do one now. So let's go with the G. All right, so we've got our G. Now, thinking about it, all right, our root note is G. Let's go back. It's going to be an F. All right. And in this case, it'll be an F sharp, okay? So the key of G, we've got one sharp and it's an F. Catch that in the next lesson on theory. So, all right, where do we find an F sharp? Hmm, I've got one here. Can't really play that and play the root note at the same time. So let's have a look elsewhere. I can repeat that string, right? So I know that's actually a an F sharp there, isn't it? So this chord, if you tuck that third finger back, boom, you get that amazing sound. So see what I mean, it's quite fun to work them out. Now, where else could you go there? Um, so we know we've got a repeat here. Okay, so that's a repeat of a G. So you've got one there as well. So there's an F sharp. We could do this little three note chord. All right. And look, relative minor to a G is going to be uh, E minor. out these really cool chord progressions all of a sudden. You're going, okay, is that, what happens if you do it to a minor scale? Awesome. Um, minor seventh just sounds amazing. So now the difference between your major and minor seventh, with the major seventh, you're finding the root note going back one fret. With a minor seventh, we're finding the root note going back two frets. So let's try that with our trusted A minor. Okay, so you've got your root note, and it's repeated here. All right. So, how do we drop that back two frets? Well, it actually becomes an open. And if you think about it, what's back from A, it's actually G in the musical alphabet. So, that actually all makes perfect sense. So now, 
you've got your A minor seventh. All right, a really nice, beautiful sound there. So the minor sevenths are really nice. Now, there is one other seventh that you'll come across occasionally. Um, and that's actually called a dominant seventh. So dominant chords uh, a little bit unique in the sense of the dominant seventh still has a major third in it. So it's still got that nice happy sound, but it's got the flat seventh in it. So you're still two frets back from the root note. Now, let me uh, dive into that. Say we take our A major, okay? So we've got an A major chord here. Now when I drop this B string back, it becomes a minor. So what we're gonna do is leave that note in, okay? So we want our major sounding third. Now this note on the G, that's our root note again. If we actually drop that back two frets, you get a dominant seventh. Okay, so strumming it. Really funky sound. All right, so there you go three different types of sevenths. So dive in, have a look, have a play around, try to find them. Remember, find that root note, drop it back one fret for your major, drop it back two frets for your minor. Then if you wanna get tricky, have a think about, oh, here's my major chord, what happens if I drop that root note back two frets while keeping your major chord formation? You're gonna get a dominant. We'll leave it there and I'll see you next time.